Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java. I'm Jason with CodeLearner.com. Here we're going to really do some really cool stuff. Uh, you really are going to use this all the time in almost every program that you have. We're going to be learning about if statements. Um, so even if you've never programmed anything before, you probably have an idea of why an if statement might be useful. Many times as you go down your code, you'll have a condition and you only want something to happen if that condition is true. And that's what an if statement is for. The main kind of overarching way that you define an if statement, I'll put it up here in the comments. You, you write the word if and you have a parentheses and inside the parentheses you have a condition. If the condition is true, then you do something. Or a better way to say that is you would have a statement with a semicolon. So basically I'm going to test something and what I'm going to be testing is inside of the parentheses and if this comes out to be true then I'm going to execute whatever is on the statement here. This is the simplest kind of if statement because um, there's only one condition in here and there's only one statement that needs to be executed uh, if, if it's true. So as we go farther in the course we'll have more complicated and larger if statements we can execute multiple things but for now for this lesson we're going to be testing something and doing one thing. Now what can you test to see if it's true? Well you have these statements up here at the top they're called relational operators you might see that in a book for conditional expressions a very fancy sounding thing this is a conditional expression this whole if thing it only happens if if something is true in other words upon the condition that this is true so you can use the less than symbol to see if two things uh, one, if one of them is less than the other you have a less than or equal to statement this is all basically coming down to the same sort of thing you learn in math class you have a greater than or greater than or equal to the double equals here is testing for equality between two, two things we'll get to that in a minute and then the exclamation point right next to the equal means uh, not equal, so not equal. So these are the main things you're going to be testing here. So let's just kind of jump right in and see. So let's let's create a variable called x and let's make it integers. So let's do x and y right now. And for right now for x, let's assign a value of 3 and put a semicolon there of course and for y will assign a value of 4. Now to make things readable it's up to you you can put spaces here after your equal sign Java doesn't care it's fine as long as you have a semicolon there so we have uh, 3 and 4 assigned to x and y and so we may want something to execute in our code upon the condition some comparison between x and y and so for instance if we want to test if x is less than y you would do it as if notice that as soon as I type if uh, it turns it purple just like all the other important words here. Notice if I capitalize if nothing happens because capital if is not is not the keyword that Java is looking for. It's lowercase if. So I need to wrap in parentheses whatever my test is. So in this case I'm going to say if x is less than y, right? So if this is true then do something. What do I want to do? Well you could have anything. I could later on we're going to be creating whole methods which are entire other little subroutines that could be doing things. So I may be calling a subroutine here. I might be printing something to the screen. I could be doing a calculation only when x is less than y. I could quit the program when x is less than y. The, the results are limitless or the, the options are limitless. But in this case to illustrate we're going to uh, put something to the screen. So in this case let's go ahead and print something to the screen right so what do we want to put here we'll just say uh, x is less than well let's wrap it in quotes x is less than y so we want that to print to the screen only when the condition is actually true if this condition is not true if this condition comes out to be false or not true then Java just completely skips over the statement and doesn't execute it so let's go ahead and hit run x is less than y. The only reason the statement was printed is because this thing is true. And I can illustrate that to you by going to the next line and let's do another if statement if uh, let's do x is equal to y. So we'll do a double equal here. x is equal to y. Clearly they're not equal to one another but let's just go ahead and pretend that they are for a second. Now let's say we're not sure. Out print ln like this and inside here we'll say x is equal to y. What do you think is going to happen whenever we uh, save and run this guy. So we're running it. Notice there's only one guy output to the screen because when Java got to this line this evaluated to true and so this was output to the screen but when it got to this line this evaluated to false because it's not true here and so this statement it just branches around it. It doesn't even execute this. 
right? So in this case, we know exactly what the value of x and y is, so we know ahead of time if this statement's going to execute, but what if you were calculating something? Maybe you're calculating the area of a beach ball, and you only want something to happen if the area is bigger than five. Well, you may not know ahead of time what the area of your ball is going to be. It may depend on lots of other things, and so you, you, you can put these ifs in there to catch certain scenarios and do certain things in your program. All right, now one more thing I want to talk about before we get too much farther. It's very, very important. It confuses a lot of people in the early days. What is the difference between double equals here and a single equals there? It's a very big difference, and I think you may already kind of see the difference based on this simple program, but I want to make it absolutely clear. When you have a single equal sign in Java like this, then you're assigning a value to something. So in all the other problems, we assign a value to a variable. We're always using a single equal sign. So the single equal sign is an assignment. You are taking the value on the right, and you're putting it into the variable label on the left. That's what it is. When you see a double equal sign, it is not an assignment, because inside of here, x double equal y, we're not assigning the value of y to x. We're comparing the two things. So in, in order, because they're different uh, things going on here, we have a different symbol. When you see a double equal, we're not assigning anything. We're only comparing them. So this tells Java, compare x to y. And if they really are equal, then go ahead and do this. And if they are not equal, then skip over it. So that's what the difference is. You use double equals inside of if statements because you're always doing comparisons. You use single equals when you're doing variable assignments because that's, you know, that you're actually assigning something there. All right, so let's continue on here. Let's create some additional variables. Let's go and create some doubles because all of this stuff works for any number that we have. So let's go and do uh, double A, B, and C, all right? And down here, after this print statement, let's go ahead and make the assignments here. Let's say A is equal to 3.45. B, you can put a space in here and make it more easily readable if you like. Uh, B is equal to 4.25 and C, is equal to 3.45, okay? Now let's do some testing on these different numbers here and see if we can learn something here. So let's first of all test equality. If A is equal to C, which we can see from the definitions above that that is true, then system.out.println, let's just output A is equal to C. So let's just stop right there for a second. We have our semicolon. Um, we have assigned values to, to variable b that we haven't used yet, but that shouldn't be a big problem. So let's just go ahead and see how this goes. a is equal to c. This only printed on the screen because the value of the if statement, what was inside of the parentheses, evaluated to true, because these guys are in fact equal to one another. So let's go down here and let's say if, uh, let's say if b is greater than or equal to a. So try to look at that and see what you think. System.out.println and we'll say b is greater than or equal to a. Do you think this is going to print or not? Let's put our semicolon at the end. Well b is 4.25. That is greater than or equal to a, right? So that seems to so far be a good candidate. And so we'll go ahead and hit enter. B is greater than or equal to A. So this guy is going to evaluate true if B is greater than A, but it's also going to evaluate to true if B is equal to A. That's why it's greater than or equal to. Now let's do something else. Let's say if, uh, let's say if A is not equal to B. That's what the exclamation point, you can see it up here, not equal. So it's going to evaluate true if these guys are not equal to each other, system.out.print ln like this. Uh, so if they're not equal to one another, we'll say a is not equal to b. And in this case, a is actually not equal to b. So let's go ahead and we can see that it's going to print a is not equal to b. And to finally, to wrap things up, we'll say what if um, a is not equal to c. System.out.print ln and put a semicolon there, and inside here we'll say A is not equal to C. So the last one is comparing A to C. Let's go ahead and save it, and let's print it. Notice that nothing happened here. A is not equal to C. That did not get printed on the screen because this if statement did not evaluate to true. When you compare A to C, these guys are actually equal to each other. We're trying to test to see if they're not equal. If they're not equal, then we'll, we're going to do this. Of course, that didn't trigger because A is actually equal to C. 
I think that's where I really want to stop now. Basically, the, the classic if statement is used all of the time in every programming language, including Java. The simplest way is if with a statement and then uh, or a condition there to evaluate and a statement on the same line with the semicolon like this. And uh, the last thing I want to tell you is you have all of these relational operators here, less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, equal, double equal means testing for equality, and not equal means testing for non-equality. Now, the last thing I want to show you is in this case, for instance, let's go down here. We have if, and we have the condition that we're going to have. And right now we have them printed on the very same line because they're easy to do like that. But in fact, Java doesn't really care. We can put this on the next line. We can put this on the next line. We can put this on the next line. And we can put this on the next line. And we can even give ourselves a space if we want between all of these guys like this. So you might read it as if A is equal to C, then we'll print this. If B is greater than or equal to A, we'll print this and so on. It's still a single statement here. It's just that uh, Java knows that when you put it on the next line, it, it's basically the statement that you want to execute if needed. So let me go ahead and hit save. Let me clear the console here. And let's go ahead and hit run. And we can see exactly the same things are printed on the screen. It doesn't really matter if the statement's right next to it or on the next line underneath. So now that you have some uh, practice with this, go on to the exercises and work those yourself. Uh, check your work, look at my solution, and you'll be well on your way to mastering Java because the if statement is one of the most useful things you're going to use over and over again.